I am Halcyon Panzer, and today we will be talking about the glorious M808 main battle tank, or simply known as the Scorpion, along with all of its variants. Side note, I am doing this in a slightly different format from my other Halo lore videos. Let me know what you think. Regardless, this will be a great episode, so let's jump in. The first Scorpion we will be getting into is the M808 main battle tank. This was the first Scorpion to ever enter service. It would make its grand appearance in the year 2218, meaning this tank was over 300 years old by the start of the Human Covenant War. Despite this tank being an old war horse, it can stay a tear shit up. It was equipped with a 90mm smoothbore high velocity cannon. It shot mainly tungsten rounds which are high penetration but also carry some explosive filler, meaning that its standard round is useful for most targets whether that be enemy armor, infantry, or even fortifications. The main gun could also shoot canister shells. A canister shell is like a huge buckshot but for a tank, right? And basically what would happen is this shell would be full of metal balls packed together. And when it's shot, all these balls are sent through the barrel, right, at incredibly high speeds, and they will disperse once they leave the barrel. And since they're going so fast, these metal balls all become lethal projectiles, meaning this is a great shell to use against any infantry at all. It would just shred them to pieces. Now, for the cherry on top, the Scorpion also offers a MG turret, which is fantastic to suppress enemy infantry and keep them away from getting a little bit too close. Not only can the Scorpion give a beating, it can also take one. For protection, the Scorpion uses ceramic titanium armor plating, making the armor have high resistance to both ballistic and plasma small arms. Besides having good firepower and protection, the Scorpion offers decent mobility too. The M808 Scorpion has a top speed of 60 miles per hour or 97 kilometers per hour for you European folks, which might not be faster than your car, but keep in mind that this beast weighs in at 66 tons. Not only that, but the thing has an operational range of 460 miles or 750 kilometers. Some other notable design features is its small crew. To operate the M808 Scorpion, all you need is two people, one of which operates from inside its internal cabin. This crew member takes care of all the basic functions such as driving, shooting, communicating, etc. The secondary crew position is located in an exposed MG turret. As expected, he operates the MG. The strangest feature of the Scorpion is the fact that its turret is automated meaning no crew member has to be in the turret. Now to the more exciting part of the video, the M808 Scorpion Variants. The M808B was the most common variant of the Scorpion during the Human Covenant War. It was pretty much an upgraded M808, it had a few extras and redesigns, one such redesign was the M808B ditched the MG turret and went for the Coryxo MG located in the main turret alongside the main gun. This in return also reduced the number of crews to operate this tank. You only needed one crew member to operate the M808B, unlike its predecessor, the M808, which needed two. Besides this, redesigning the MG placement, some M808 08Bs even had their main 90mm guns replaced with 105mm guns. However, it should be noted that most of the M808Bs retained their 90mm guns. The M808B also received an upgrade as far as protection goes. It used the same protection system as the M808 but also had anti-mine software and electronics aboard too. While the M808B is generally considered as an upgraded M808, this cannot be said for its mobility. The M808B's top speed was only 33 miles per hour or 54 kilometers per hour, meaning the M808B is about half as fast as the M808. The M808B2, also known as the Sun Devil, is a variant of the M808B 
upper chakra with a focus on air defense. In order for the MAO-8B2 to fulfill its role as a SPG-AA vehicle, it would lose its tort and gay, brand new tort and new armaments. This new tort would house two twin-linked 40mm auto cannons. Despite it being a SPG-AA, it would sometimes be used as an anti-infantry vehicle during the insurrection. Let me also point out that this variant also brought back the turreted MG in the chassis. I suspect this is because they couldn't fit it in the turret now since they had four 40mm autocannons. The M808B3, also known as the Tarantula, is also based on the M808B. I know, right? And uh, this one simply had two rocket pods on each side of the gun that fires a cluster of high velocity rockets. Apparently, these were not very useful against the Covenant and deemed a waste of time. Most of the B3s were converted back to just the Bs. The UNSC Army Light Tank has little information on it. It is a variant of the MA-08B made to be, as the name implies, that being light. We do know that the reason for the UNSC making a lighter version of the MA-08B was so that they could transport it via air. They accomplished this by simply making the armor thinner. Other than this, we do not know much about this variant. So I tried my best to find out how much a uh, UNSC Army Light Tank weighs. I could not find the answer though, but I did find a lower inconsistency. So in Halo 2's campaign in the mission Metropolis, you actually get to use a UNSC Army Light Tank. If you recall, Sergeant Johnson drops one off for you to use from a Pelican. And this tank does have a name actually, its name is 12-9FS. And even more surprisingly, there's a wiki page on it, on the Halopedia, and it says that this tank weighs 66 tons, which is the same weight a uh, M808B weighs. I don't think that's right, so we will just ignore that. The chief is gonna jump in this tank, roll across the bridge, and blow up any inhuman son of a bitch dumb enough to get between him and the prophet of regret. The M808C is like a mix between the standard M808 and the B model. In reality, this tank is just a B with the addition of the MG turret back, meaning the cryo crew members for the C is once again two. Like the B, it also has anti-mine software and electronics. However, unlike the B, the C's top speed is 60 miles per hour or 96.5 kilometers per hour just as fast as the standard M808, and twice as fast as the B. It should also be noted that the C model was the most common Scorpion to be produced. Next on the list is the Model S. It is one of the most unique looking variants, that's for sure. The Model S features a new armor arrangement, which was said to be more efficient than the previous models. However, it should be noted that it is still using the uh, ceramic titanium like the previous models. However, it does have better situational awareness compared to the previous models and an upgraded cannon. It did have one variant, but it doesn't really dissolve its own section because there isn't that much data on it and it kind of looks a little bit funny, if you, you know what I mean. Okay, anyways, this model was the Lockdown Scorpion. It was pretty much an S model with a battling ram on it and uh, it also had energy shields, so fairly unique. These were all the major variants of the M808 Scorpion. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it and you'd like to keep up with me, make sure to subscribe. If not, or if you just want to support me, a like can go a long way. I am in college. I spend a lot of time on this. I'm trying to get one video out a week, which is harder some weeks than others because, you know, college. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's really all I have to say. Oh, I also got uh, a new Instagram, Twitter, so make sure to follow me on those. You can find them in the bio. And uh, lastly, thanks for listening.